or has the James mm -hmm. Webb telescope debunked the Big Bang? Yeah, it makes excellent clickbait. Yeah. There it is. It's, it's clickbait headline. So here's the point. The tenets of the Big Bang, that the universe started out small, hot, dense, uh, where matter and energy were a primordial soup, where the forces of nature had merged. All of that is thoroughly supported by observations of this universe. Thoroughly supported. Okay, now, there's some things that, well, did this really cause that? Or might it be something that we don't know about yet? And who ordered up the dark matter? We don't know where that came from. And where's this expansion? We don't know where that came from. But we can describe it. And we can measure it. Here's the point. If tomorrow you have a new idea about how the universe works, it's going to enclose everything we've been talking about up to that moment that has been experimentally and observationally verified. You can enclose it in something deeper. Okay, You can say, oh, wait, I have an idea. Our universe is just one in a multiverse. Right. Fine. Okay? But our universe would have started with a Big Bang. Okay? Right. And our universe would have expanded from a dense, hot cool, uh, state. And it's been cooling ever since. That's observed and that's real. And that's not going away. So what you have are journalists trying to make clickbait. And if there's some little thing in the early universe that is still on the frontier, still being contested in the octagon, in the, in the, in the fight dome, and, and, and some new idea is emerging over another idea, People say, oh, Big Bang is in trouble. Scientists go back to the drawing. But Big Bang is not in trouble. Right. I'm just saying, it's not in trouble. It is a whole thing that could conceivably fit in a deeper, bigger idea. Right. But it's not going to be swapped out. There you go. Wow. That is good. Take that, Big, big Bang deniers. Take that. <laughs>